I would want to integrate uh, dx over x squared plus 2x plus 5. So um, I don't see any possible substitution here. I cannot substitute u to be the denominator because I don't have its derivative sitting on top or something. So uh, what do we do then? Well, uh, you, you must have studied, studied uh, in your previous classes about um, completing the square. Okay. So I think that's, uh, that's our last resort. So I'd want to con uh, complete the square of the denominator which is a quadratic okay so if you don't remember just uh, take a look you take the half of the middle coefficient uh, that is the half of 2 which is 1 and you square that so 1 squared is just 1 right so what you want uh, this is what you have but what you want is this what you want is this you want this because this is a perfect square but how can you how can you write this in terms of this well I wanted one but I have five so why don't I take just one from the five and separate out the four right so what we do is we write this integral as the integral of dx over x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 4 right it's it's the same thing if you if you combine these two terms 1 plus 4 is just 5 and you're you're back to where where you began right so this is just the integral of dx this is the integral of dx over now x squared plus 2x plus 1 you can write that as x plus 1 squared right the whole squared if you if you want it that way it is the x pl uh, x plus 1 whole squared so it is x plus 1 squared plus and it was this term that converted into this term so we have a 4 left out here plus a 4 so now um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write, rewrite this as x plus 1 squared I'm going to leave that as it is but 4 is just 2 squared right so you might recognize this that now we need to do some trick substitution and uh, you know if, if, if the integral is of kind of the kind dx over a squared plus x squared or x, x squared plus a squared it is the same thing then a possible substitution or a good idea is to substitute substitute as x as a tangent of theta Okay, so that's what we are we're going to do here, but we um, kind of don't have uh, x at as it is. We have x plus one, so not such a big deal. So we'll just substitute uh, uh, when we substitute x as a tan theta. Now we'll substitute x plus one as a tan theta, and you can see that x uh, sorry a in this case is two because a squared, so it's two squared if you compare it, and then a is two, so we substitute that as two tangent of theta. Okay, now I will uh, I will differentiate both sides to get that the differential of this side is just dx, and the differential of uh, the the right hand side is two times the secant two times the secant square of theta d theta, right? So this integral becomes dx. Dx is this thing. 2 secant squared of theta d theta over x plus 1 squared. Now x plus 1 is 2 tangent of theta. So x plus 1 squared will be 4 tangent squared of theta. But we have a 4 here. So if you factor out a 4, you will get 1 plus tangent squared of theta. Right? And now you should remember that 1 plus tangent squared of theta is nothing but secant squared of theta. Um, that is that comes from the uh, that's one of the basic identities trigonometric so 1 plus tangent squared of theta is secant squared of theta but we have a secant squared of theta up so that cancels out with that right and if you if you bring out the 2 over 4 it becomes 1 half and you pull it out of the integral because it is a constant so 
it is the integral of just d theta which I believe is um, you can get you cannot get uh, easier and easier integral than this right so it says one half of theta plus c but we're not done yet because um, the actual problem was in terms of x so we need to express that in terms of x so this is one half times theta now um, I, I'm going to use this e equation here um, what I'll do is I'll divide both sides by 2 I'm, I'm writing this expression here so if I divide both sides by 2 then I get x plus 1 over 2 is equal to the tangent of theta now I'll take the arc tangent of the tan inverse of both sides to get that theta is equal to the tangent inverse of x plus 1 over 2 so half of theta right but theta is this thing um, we write that because it is in terms of x it's one half times the tangent inverse tangent inverse of x plus 1 over 2 and there is a plus c so that is our final answer that is our final answer but you see that there is no uh, no specific technique for any integration problem it's kind of an art you have to uh, adapt to the problem you know just kind of sticking to a, a particular uh, technique won't help you at all um, so in this case uh, you might have uh, so do, done something like uh, u substitution or something um, but that wouldn't have worked or uh, even if 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 it would, uh, if it would, it would have worked then it was uh, then it would be a very 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 long uh, long uh, technique so you kind of have to see this um, if there is no specific derivative of the denominator sitting on top then you try something uh, like um, uh, uh, f uh, completing the square of the denominator and then substituting uh, 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 this expression in the denominator uh, which is in in terms of x as a tangent of theta and then you can simplify differentiate and substitute and you can later solve solve the integral so yeah um, uh, this technique uh, I hadn't uh, done this formally because there is no such formal technique as completing the square this is just a um, basic technique so yeah the, it, it was a good problem um, so I'll see you in the next video